This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and welcome to back to normal, hopefully. Now, we're on airfield, it's a war, and it's an encounter. The good news is I'm in the T-57 Heavy, the aka the King Cobra. Now, you guys haven't seen this one from me for a while. I don't play it very often, I'm not that good in it. I tend to get my butt kicked, I, can't, I get it too aggressive, and it just, it's not been me. But, this is not one of those times. This is going to be one of those times where I play just aggressive enough, and the enemy gives me just enough to where bad things are going to happen to the, to the bad guys. Now, the good news is, I'm going to have a little bit of help. And then the bad news is, that help disappears at the most inopportune time possible. But, all kidding aside, sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. We're going to have a fun one here, folks. I'm not going to lie. This is literally the best match I have ever had in the T-57 Heavy. Ever. So, welcome to a new week, and hopefully we're back to normal. And we'll be able to have some fun and uh, get you know back into the two videos a day, uh, you know, all that all that good stuff. I've missed you guys. You guys have missed me. Your support throughout has been amazing. Like you guys don't know how much that is that means to me. Let's be honest. Um, it's been it's been pretty rough uh, on the road to recovery, but I'll tell you what, I couldn't have asked for better better fans, man. You guys are awesome. The Spartan Army is strong and that's one of the things that's helped me get through no problem get onto the internet and see your guys' comments every day it's been amazing now you can see I'm just I'm I know the t49s there I don't want to get stupid and get plocked by them 152 mil gunnies got can sting but I also want to just see what else is out there you know take tabs of who I'm up against I know I got guys to my left I heard them breaking or going into the water or whatever um, initially, and there we get somebody get deleted early. We've lost three tanks. They've lost none. Um, now here, I'm trying to get a good shot on this guy, and that T-49 pops up and plocks me, but I put an armor piercing around into him using auto, auto lock there through the wood. Now we have the E-5 down here. I've got three rounds left, and E-5 is going to pull back. I don't know why the E-5 pulls back. He just, he, he has a tendency to move around too much. Conqueror's pulling up to try to get some into the backside. Unfortunately, he runs face first into me. And had I had four rounds, he'd be dead right now. We set him on fire, but it wasn't enough. E5 comes back down and finishes him off. So, one down, 14 to go. <laughs> and our team is dropping like flies. Seems to be the theme of the day. If you guys haven't seen the other video, oh, hello, Scorpion. Can I get him? I'm taking him off the board. Get out of here. Alright. We make the T-49 miss. We auto-lock hit him. And then we get blasted in the right side by T-30. Well, T-30, I'm going to get at least 800 off of you, too. So, uh, fair exchange all the way around, I think. <laughs> we back off. That T-30 must have had the small gun because he hit me for like 400 and then he reloaded relatively quickly. So he had the smaller gun. I'm trying to get out of here because I somehow got surrounded because I thought I had an E5 with me. Well, the E5 drove the other way and left me essentially with my tail in the wind. Now, I reload very, very good timing. Finish off the T30. I've got 480 health. T62. Oh, we hit a bump and the gun goes up just in time to make me miss. Now, he bounces, he bounces off of me and we're going to set him on fire. He... <laughs> Waste the automatic fire extinguisher, and then I finish him off. E5 and I have somehow managed to hold this hill almost just two of us at a time. Um, and I, you can see by the thing, I'm up to 16 hits at this point. Now, not, a, not all of that is uh, damage from, you know, some of that is obviously fires. Now, watch that E-Hundo. E that E-Hundo comes off the hill, and I lose track of him because I tunnel vision on these other guys. Now, watch this T-57. I break the wall. Now I put one, I put two, 
And I back off and try to put a third shot in it. Just didn't didn't happen. But I can't afford to get hit by them. So I back off. The E100 is closing the distance, as you can see. And he's, he's intending to come up the hill. But he's got a, a medium tank down there to contend with. And again, I'm not paying attention to that. I see this this guy here in the uh, the T57. I break the wall again, put one into him, ammo rack him, put a second one into him, track him, and he dies immediately. So now we're up to 20 hits. Like I said, best game ever for me, guys. I've never had a game like this in the T57, ever. So uh, we're we're controlling the match. We're maintaining our position, and then I'm like, okay, well, we've got the T30 over here on the left. So even though he's full health, I move up to a position where I can p potentially put some rounds into him. I auto-lock, bad plan. Aim when you can, put one into the side of his turret. I start backing off to make sure I don't get shot. Well, then I dump the mag. After only putting two rounds into the target, I dump the mag. Watch what happens next. Anybody wondering where that E100 is? Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the worst possible thing that could have happened. Charge him. Hopefully he'll bounce. Uh, he didn't bounce. <laughs> oh, man. All because I lost track of one stupid heavy tank. But it's okay. We're obviously going to win this match, right? E5's face-hugging an E... Or, yeah, face-hugging a T30... I just tell the E5, back off, because you've got a 15 centimeter gun coming towards you. He, he's got the back side of him. Is he going to put a round in him? Nope, he's not. And there is the E100. Why the E100 chose to kill, well, I guess, kill a gorilla. That's a 15 centimeter gun off the board. And now E100 versus the E5. Now, the E100 doesn't know. But why stay up there? If he'd have just charged down the hill and rammed this E5 to begin with, he would have been better off. And he wouldn't have lost all of his hit points because he wouldn't have got hit by the other guys. But E5 survives, manages not to get ammo wrecked. We end up with 21 hits. What do we got? 6,100 damage, 1,500 blocked, and three kills. Top of the leaderboard, not bad. So if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.